Samantha Gutierrez. Hi, my name is Justina Raya. And my name is Lola Formex. Alright, how many of you guys like sweets? Hey! Yeah, I know I do too. Um, <laughs> but there can be problems when it comes down to choosing the right ones to eat. Like some are high in fats and sugars, but those are the ones that taste good. Others are like healthier for you, but they're all kind of bland and they taste terrible. Well, at Sam Sweets, we bake and sell healthy treats that taste good. No more counting calories and trying to find something to eat. You'll be surprised at how many healthy treats we uh, bake that are good for you and taste good. For our executive summary, we will sell cakes, cupcakes, cookies, and other bakers that are much healthier for you. We will be clean and well organized, and we will be located in Portoville and Main, uh, Main Street in Portoville, California, and we will also have a delivery service. For our industry analysis, Reveals that there are 10 babies within a five mile radius from ours, but we also have our advantages, which are going to be friendly service, custom orders, uh, pastries that are lower in fat and sugar, which will attract our health conscious um, customers. But the most, don't forget that we also deliver. Sam Sweets is a partnership between three people and we will be open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I will manage the bakery, while Azucena will manage the store, buy inventory, stock supplies, and deliver. While Lupe will also manage the store and handle the accounting and banking for our business, our hours are staggered to where we each work six hours a day. I will work from 4.30 to 10.30, uh, Azucena will work from 7.30 to 1.30, and Lupe will work from 11 to 5. For our market analysis shows that there are people who can't or don't like to eat too much fats or sugars. Well, at Sam Sweets, we will sell pastries that are much healthier for you to eat and you won't have to worry about your health. We will have great quality and service <coughs> and we will, Sam Sweets will, with the crisis in our economy, people are demanding more for less. Well, at Sam Sweets, we will sell our pastries at reasonable prices. And we will also specialize in cakes, from simple birthday cakes to magnificent wedding cakes. And we will, we will also fresh serve fresh coffee. For our financials, we're planning on getting a three-year loan for $30,000, which will provide for our startup cost and work as a cash cushion. The $25,000 $25, will be used for utensils, mixtures, and other startup costs. And the 5000 of the loan is provided for the three first months, which we will lose the money. Uh, we'll be open in April to take advantage of the spring weather. We'll restock every week. Um, and each of us is going to get a salary of 1200 which it calculates to be $10 per hour. Uh, we're going to continue advertising through newspapers, billboards, websites. But the most important thing, where to find. And here are six month projections. Our gross profit in one, month one is estimated at $4,500 and we plan on doubling that by month six. Our purchases inventory uh, consists of our egg, sugar, and everything else we need for baking. Our marketing is our advertisements, like our billboard, radio, and all that. Uh, the insurance is for fire and theft, just in case if something happens. And the loan that you see for $927 is over a three year period for that $30,000 loan. Uh, we will pay ourselves $1,200 each month, which calculates to $3,600 between all of us. Our vehicle lease is $152, that's for our deliveries. Our rent expense is included in that loan, so we wouldn't, uh, and that goes, yeah, that goes in our loan. Our expenses are high in our, in our first three months, and we will be negative, but our $5,000 cash cushion fixes that, and we will start earning money by month four. For our key personnel, Samantha has experience in waitressing and voluntary luncheons. While the Lupe and I, we are experienced in cashing, retail sales, inventory, and money handling and accounting. For our, uh, for our growth plan, we'll continue to develop new recipes, uh, specialized and customized products um, that will focus on the lower and lower free cal uh, pastries. Um, we're going to grow our market share by giving new customers every month through the advertising and 
in Huerta we, we're going to offer baking lessons for people that want to have a healthier lifestyle. And for our business risk, we will purchase liability insurance in case of a mishap. We will also um, purchase fire extinguishers for, the, for every exit, especially in the kitchen. We will have smoke alarms and we will also install um, fire insurance in case of a fire and for theft. We will have money handling rules. We will purchase. We will not leave no cash registers unattended. We will have, we will purchase safe for money, and we will also install video cameras. Sound Suits will be the cleanest and most organized bakery in our town, and we will make profits by the fourth month of business. We will uh, bake and sell healthier treats that are low in fats and sugars. And we offer great customer, we provide great customer service to everyone. And we also offer the baking classes for those people who want to learn how to bake healthier in the comfort of their own home. We will get, uh, we will get a loan of $30,000 from the bank over a three year period to cover our expenses at, and our uh, first three months of business that we are going to be losing money. And the most important thing about Sun Suites is that we do deliver and people, that's what most people wanted when we uh, conducted our research. Okay, our slogan is it's a piece of cake because it's an already well known catchphrase, and which means that our sun suites will be easy to work with and always ready to please our customers. And these are the resources that we use to help us with this project. Thank, Thank you. you. Two grams of fat, while other brownies have nine grams. So you're actually eating very healthy sweets. So I can eat seven grams. So I can have yeah, seven. So I can have five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Right. Judges, comments? Oh, I think. That's right. Um, good job. Great, great, great concept. Good analysis. Good presentation. Well organized. Um, really good job. I'll I'll, I'll just point out that. Um, when you're talking to, to the bank, a lot of times you can get them to extend that term out to maybe four or five years as, as well, mm -hmm. lowering your, your debt service on, on that. You can also get them to push off the first payment for a few months too. Um, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm glad you had financials in there and that, and that you considered that. And I'm, it's, I'm, I'm glad to, to, to see that you actually considered the, the possibility of losing money the first few months because that's, that's going to happen. And so that, that shows that you were thinking about that. A lot of times you get the bank to push off that first payment for a few months, knowing full well that you're probably going to have a, a negative cash flow anyway. So, so that's just something to consider. But overall, I, I think good presentation, good outline, good concept, um, you know, and good analysis. Thank you. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, you know, I think you guys, the, the presentation itself is well laid out. Um, the only thing I would tell you as far as maybe to make the presentation smoother, more seamless as you go from slide to slide, is don't announce the title, you know, like economic analysis or this or that or whatever it is. Just, just move right on to the next thing and just kind of like the slides aren't even there. You guys are just moving and the slides are there to back you up because we can read as you're talking. And it, so I mean, we know it's the executive summary. We know it's the you know whatever. Um, and that way, you guys don't worry about it, and you're just talking. And you're okay. just selling your concept. So I really love the way that everything about this presentation said: cupcakes, sweets, baking, the aprons, the pink, the graphics, the little handouts here, the cupcakes on the executive summary. It was a great package. So I, I had a really clear vision of your product. I had a really clear vision of what you were looking at, what you wanted to do, and what you'd bring to the party, which I really appreciate because most of the time, and today, for example, we haven't gotten this executive summary, so I really appreciate the way that I could just listen to you and look at your slides and know exactly what you're talking about. It made it very easy for me to get the gist of what you are proposing here. I love the fact that you gave us little sweets to try um, because in this business, you can do all of these fabulous things, but if you don't make good brownies, then you're dead in water. And so I appreciate the fact that that was part of your presentation because that is a key component. 
that, um, and, and I know you talked about delivery and how wonderful that is, but bottom line is they gotta be good brownies. Yeah. And so I really appreciate that. I would um, also uh, commend you on your ability to be passionate about it, yeah. about your ability to be talking to us, mm -hmm. not to be so scripted that you are sterile in your delivery. You, I at least could tell in the audience that this is something that you care deeply about and you're very excited about, and it's nice to be able to feel that from you in your presentation. And you had great eye contact, and um, you made sure to identify each of the components of the business plan, which I appreciated. Yeah. And your financials were such that I could see the numbers, which I really appreciated that I could see the numbers. What I would love to see also, maybe that you could add, if you have the time, I think you do, is some customer comments or things that people have said about your product, or maybe because your product is a healthier option, talk a little bit of more about that healthier option. What makes it healthier without giving any trade secrets away? What makes it healthier? Why is it better? Maybe to compare it to other products, some, some market, um, some competition, I guess, some other products from competition. So, but otherwise, I just thought it was great. Okay. And for the competition, uh, we did make that chart for other brownies, so you could see what you're eating compared to other people. <laughs> I don't know. I would, uh, <laughs> as, as, as a business concept, too, I, I, I might suggest to you that, you know, this is a product that can be sold in other bakeries, too. You know, there's all the, for every, you know, every donut shop on every, you know, every street corner in every town in California. Um, you know, you could go in there and say, hey, we have this product, you know, if you want to sell them, you know, they can may make a little bit, but, but it gives you an opportunity to really expand that market out. So it's not just in, in your, your shop where you can buy them. Um, you know, that's, that's something to, to, to really uh, you know, expand that, that, that market out. But great job, really, absolutely good job. Yeah, my comment is um, a, a couple things. I, I agree with all the, the financials well presented. Your presentation is excellent. Uh, the attire matches your product. I haven't tasted yet, so I don't know if it's as good as you say it is, but I'm going to find out. A uh, couple comments. Number one, your branding. I, I kind of agree with what you said. Uh, it could not just be opening a store, but it could be a brand which can be sold in multiple entities. So your name needs to sell what you are. I suspect that Samantha came from, Sam's Sweets came from Samantha is a secret uh, observation. <laughs> so, so it gets by you. Yeah, when you <laughs> so when you so when you think about uh, branding, that, that's an important part of your concept. So something like Greeny Sweets, or rather than Granny's Sweets, it could be Greeny's Sweets. So if you want to take or organic, some play on the word organic uh, or green as an in thing, but if you get a branding that identifies the wholesomeness of your product, then you have a brand that you can either make it yourself, or you can have someone make it and then be marketed, et cetera. Second comment is, uh, I noticed uh, your, when I made direct eye contact with you, I had a feeling I, I made you stumble, so I actually, I turned away so I didn't give you eye contact. And uh, a point of information, if I was in your position, one thing I learned is that if you stare at my, the center of my forehead instead of at my eyes, yeah. my eyes distract you, but the center of my forehead is quite impersonal, so you can talk to my forehead all you want. <laughs> you can gesture anything you want, and uh, you won't lose your train of thought, but you notice how that, it, and so I actually averted my eyes so I wouldn't distract you, but I think that's kind of a, a technique of presentation that might help. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good job.